Hey, Superior Wolf again, bringing another uh, commentated FP VOD. This is another ZBT, and this is on Python. Friendly match between one of my friends, who's Terran, and I'm starting at the 12 o'clock position. Uh, this is a friendly game, it's not on iCup, uh, and the guy I'm playing has reached C plus in two seasons consecutively. This season he's currently C rank with like 46 and 30 stats, something like that. And uh, right now I'm sending my overlord to scout, of course. And I'm once again been gonna be opening with a nine pool, I believe, uh, because I just like I just love that build. Um, if you see where I placed my overlord, right in that uh, right in that niche. Uh, sometimes if your opponent spawns in that area, uh, at the 3 o'clock position, you can go there and you can see his command center without his command center, command center seeing your overload. So that's a little trick I like to do. Unfortunately, I only know that it works on that part of the map. So uh, now I'm doing the extracted trick to get one extra drone, and uh, I've made two drones and now I'm going to make an overlord. This allows me to get a little bit better of an economy after a 9 pool, which is not the best build for your economy. Uh, and I really like doing a 9 pool because if your opponent does something like a fast command center, uh, it's basically like an auto win. If they go straight command center, it's pretty much auto win, so you can punish Terrans who love to do that. Secondly, I know this Terran opponent always loves to do a 1 Rax expand. Uh, most of the time at least, and so a 9 pool will force him to do 2 racks, which I guess he may not be as comfortable with, with uh, because I've noticed that most Terrans like to do 2 racks after they scout a 9 pool. So I only get 8 zerglings, and then I send my, and I send my drone to expand at the same time. Since I know he's going to be blocking me, I'm going to decide not to hassle myself, and just misplace my hatchery and <clears throat> just let him do whatever. Um, so uh, then I'll be sending these these zerglings to go kill his expansion, or go uh, t uh, pressure him at least. Um, so first a zerglings coming out, I see he's building an engineering bay right there, which is actually a pretty good move because it's going to end up delaying my third hatchery for a while. But uh, otherwise it's not going to affect me or him too much in this game. I know he's probably at this expansion just because of the timing of his of his SCV. So now I'm going to continue pumping some drones to get a good economy. And uh, I suspect at this point that he's already added a second rack. And I will be getting my third hat and doing three hatch mutas into standard mid game play. I'm getting a fairly early uh, extractor, but that's because I have an excess of minerals since I can't place this hatchery. Uh, and now I'm going to place it. My second hatchery is almost going to be finished. And right now I'm just going to contain him, wait until he tries to expand, make a little surround, so if he pushes out with marines I can kill some of them if I feel that I can engage. And I am going to regularly send a Zergling in to see his marine count so I know what type of build he's doing, if he's doing a mech build, um, if he's doing one racks, if he's doing two racks. Uh, I see quite a lot of marines right now, so I'm fairly certain that it's a two racks. So it's always nice to analyze the opponent's marine count and the time, and that's when you can generally find out how many uh, rack barracks they have. Lair is now going up. Generally when you're doing three hat mutas, you want to add your second extractor when the lair is 50% complete. Uh, this game I did not follow that rule, but it didn't, didn't affect me that much. I was able to get a faster third expansion. Um, and I'm also going to get my zergling speed, so it, it'll help me uh, do a lane backstab if he pushes out, and it'll help me deflect a 2 racks attack by him. So soon I'm going to start adding a couple of sunkins because I know this is about the timing where he will be able to attack me uh, right about after my lair is like just about to complete is when he's going to push out and attack me. And uh, I start sending some... I uh, will go and try and analyze his marine count after he does not push. Um, if I mean if I feel that his push is delayed, I'll go check. And if I don't see anything, I'll know. 
uh, he might not be doing a 2x. So right now, he hasn't pushed out and my lair is finished, but now he's pushing out as soon as I went to check. So uh, the timing was correct, he's pushing out, and uh, he doesn't actually have that many units. Um, but I still, uh, I still, I decided to play it safe. Added three sunkins. I probably only needed only needed two because I had quite a lot of zerglings. But uh, anyways, it's not really gonna do. It's not gonna really matter. Um, he's gonna be forced back, and he's gonna get a delayed expansion from my nine pool uh, because he ha he was forced to do a two rack. So adding my second extractor now, and still continuing to pump drones. As zerg, you always wanna. Pump drones when you can because you need the economy. And once you get that economy running, you can just do the standard Zerg play where you just overrun them with tons and tons of units. Although with ZVT, you actually have to control your units very, very carefully. So uh, once a spider is at 300 health, you want to have one layer at, or one larva at each of your hatcheries. And this will allow you to make nine mutalisks as soon as your hatchery, um, as soon as your spire finishes. <clears throat> and I'm now going to send one drone to go expand. Uh, still checking his marine count. Uh, I'm going to try and make him stim just to uh, just keep his, see how fast his reactions are. Um, but if you make them waste stims often enough, then their medic's energy will be. Um, it'll run out so you just just do stuff like that you can s sort of scare him make him uh, get him distracted from his macro and uh, just little stuff like that running around zergling so see those red dots and he might get scared might stim uh, and he might just forget what he was doing earlier so now I'm just gonna send these zerglings uh, just have them walk around the map I've got that overlord over at that overlord spotter pot spot and I'll be able to use that to uh, just know when he pushes out. So my mutas are now out. I've only got about seven because my gas was... I lay down my gas a little bit late. But uh, fortunately, I, it's not really going to affect me much. I've sent one Zergling to scout the bottom of the map. So if he takes a secret expansion, which Protosses and Terrans often do, most mostly uh, Protoss though, uh, I'll be able to scout it right away. So my Mutalists are now stacked. I've seen that he's got a bunker up to protect uh, protect against that, and uh, trying to do a little bit of harass. Make sure you don't engage when his Marines are horizontal to you. Uh, I know this player has pretty good micro in defending against Mutalists, so I'm not going to risk anything. Uh, a good Terran player will stim and then pull back, and then as soon as your Mutalists start to uh, retreat, he'll pull forward and get a couple of shots off you. So I'm taking off a couple turrets, any stray marines I'm going to pick off with hold position micro. And uh, he's building a turret, I'll pick off that, uh, never mind, I don't pick off that SCV. So uh, after you get your first 9 to 11 Mutas, you get your uh, Evolution Chamber and your Hydralis Den at the same time, and you start getting a few Hydras. I usually get them about when the Hydra Den is about halfway done, I guess. And uh, then you'll be able to send two over to that ramped expansion, and that'll help you because you will be able to defend that expansion really easily with just two Lurkers until late game. So right now, I I think I got a little bit I got supply blocked because I forgot an Overlord. But uh, I, I've still managed to keep my money quite low, getting extracted with my first couple of drones at that expansion, and I'll be able to get a queen's nest uh, sooner or later. So right now I've, I've got pretty good advantage. Um, I, I mean it's fairly even though. I've got three expansions. His his uh, other his second expansion uh, has been up for just a little bit, and I'm sending a couple of overlords to the perimeter of my base because I will be able to use that in order to spot drops and I'll be able to react faster um, in getting my drones out of there. So my extractor over here is done. I mean immediately send three drones to go mine from there. And I, I'm i getting my lurkers now. Lurkers are now going to be set to defend that place. I send in my Mulisk and I get to see the timing of his science 
facility. I get to delay it by maybe like a second by picking